everybody, welcome back to Adventures of Spackman. Today, we're testing the cheapest one person hot tent from Amazon. Let's find out how it does. So far, so good. So I have the fire hiking one person hot tent. Let's see what it comes with. Looks like we got the hot tent, a pole, and a little bag. Let's see what's in the little bag. Oh, it's a little pillow. It's a blow up pillow. There's a little squirrel right there. Actually, it's a big squirrel. Squirrel. Ah, there's the steaks. So in the steak bag, it came with 13 of these aluminum steaks. They're Y steaks, but the each each wing of the Y is curved. Let me see if I can show you. You see how they're like curved like that? That's kind of cool. That should help keep it in the ground. It came with a four section aluminum pole. Pretty solid construction. There's no adjustability, so the tent's got to be just right for this to erect it. Right off the bat, there's loose threads on the top, threads sticking out here. And this is, that was the first thing I looked at. So I'm sure there's going to be lots more of that throughout the tent. But that's what you get for getting the cheapest tent on Amazon. Is this thread going to affect how the tent is? Not this one specifically, <laughs> but maybe others. Each one of the guy out point has a plastic buckle for adjustment. And there's eight. One, two, three, four, five. Nope, six. I staked every one of these out loosely so that when I put the pole up, I can adjust it even more. With the pole in place, now I'm going to tighten up every one of the stake out points. Alright, that's tight. Let's take a look on the inside. It is not very big. Oh, here's some firewood. Like I said, it's a one person tent. The cheapest one person tent on Amazon. This is the reinforcement for the pole. That actually seemed pretty tough. You can see the seam tape on all the seams. That looks pretty good. Let's check out this stove jack. Stove jack is seam tape too. Huh, loose thread. Ooh, that Velcro seems pretty strong. This actually is a very nice stove jack. I'm surprised. I was skeptical about that. This stove jack itself is worth $30, if not more. That's a nice quality. That's nice and thick. The seam tape looks good on the inside. We're going to test this seam tape out, all these seams. We're going to get the hose out and spray it down for about an hour. So we'll see how the water test goes. But so far, the seams look nice. The material feels good. And this stove jack, that is actually, I'm surprised at how nice that is. Let's go to the outside. So when I unzipped it, I found two Velcros. On this side, they look good. If you come over to the flat part, that thread is going right through those Velcros. I would imagine this is gonna be a leaky spot right here. Is the seam taped on the inside? Nope. So this has potential right here to leak for sure. Actually, this whole seam, this whole zipper seam, but it is covered by this, so we'll see how that works out. But also, it's only stuck down half, only half of it is sewn to it. So that's a mistake. Bottom one is the same way. The rest of it looks fairly, fairly well. Looks good. Here's some more threads. Stove jack. All right, so unvelcroing that with one hand took this stake out of the ground. Stick her back in there. Stove jack flap is rolled up. It's actually pretty nice. I like this stove jack. It is really thick. You can't tell on camera, but this is a nice stove jack. It feels very decently quality. 
decent quality stove jack at least. The tent itself is still questionable. We'll figure that out soon. Looks like we got guy out points on each one of the seams. That will help. That will actually help keep the stakes down too if we take some of the pressure off the stakes. Here is the vent opening. This is stiff. That's like a stiff wire. That's how you hold that up. But honestly, I mean, that, that holds it up itself. With snow, it could collapse it. So that's, that's why that's there. So I was able to get it Velcroed. But it's not, it's not really closed. It's just less open. <laughs> and I mean, if anything touches it, it's just going to burst right off of there. We'll keep it open for now and hope for the best. It also has a tie-off point, so you don't even need the pole. You could tie it off to a ridge line or to a branch on a tree. That's a pretty cool option. Now, this does not seem like it would support this tent very well. Especially if there's snow on it, that would definitely probably rip right off. But it's a cool option for non-snow days. What do you say? Should we get a stove in here? Yeah, we should. in place. I'm not going to lie, the pipe's a little small for that stove jacket. <laughs> I have it right in the middle of the tent for maximum lay down room. I'll probably sleep over there. Maybe somebody can fit over here too. Maybe in front of the door. Maybe. 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 We'll see. We'll find out. It's decent size. It's not bad. Not for the cheapest one person hot tent on Amazon. Kind of liking it. Ended up guying out all six of the guy out points just to test them out. They're nice cord locks. What you do, you pull that out and then it's adjustable. You pull it to where you want and then you pull it back in. One thing I noticed only on this one guy out line, there's fraying on the cord already. Not a big deal. Other than that, I got to say, this tent so far is exceeding my expectations for the cheapest tent on Amazon. Cheapest hot tent on Amazon. Just the stove jack alone. It's very nice. Oh, by the way, I added my stove jack sleeve. If you want to see how I made this, I want to start a fire in here for one reason. Just to see how that stove jack does with some heat. It's the stove jack, like I said, seems like it's a pretty well-made material. Better than some I've seen, better than some I've bought. So, not bad. There's Remy Dog. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Remy just tail whipped, <laughs> Remy just tail whipped the tent. It's still standing. This is not hot at all. Neither is this actually. This isn't warm whatsoever. It's been going for about 15 minutes, I'd say. Still has time to warm up. Check that out, guys. Cheapest one person hot tent on Amazon. Score. So I ended up picking up this hot tent for just about $84 shipped to my house in a week from Amazon. It is the Fire Hiking brand. It's probably some Chinese knockoff that they put their own logo on, but that, that's okay. It's, it's actually fairly nice quality. I did find those loose threads up here towards the top, but other than that, I haven't really seen any others. So that's not bad. Every one of the seams on the inside is seam taped. That's a plus. I'm telling you, this stove jack material seems very nice to me. So let's get the hose going. I got a tripod out with the hose set right up on it.
Now that water that's hitting the stove is going down in between the stove jack sleeve. But so far, I mean, the, it looks like it's water repellent. So yeah, I think uh, I think this is a good test of it. Besides that, that might be a problem, but what are you gonna do? Well, it makes the cool sound with the rain. <laughs> it's cool. This is cool. I'm gonna keep this going for about an hour, I'd say. That's a, this is a moderately heavy rain simulation rain i'd say moderately heavy i ended up closing the door to test this seam to test the door seams look at the water running right down this seam that's pretty cool that is collecting the water like a gutter diverting it from the door that is pretty cool so i'm going to set up a time lapse for an hour and i'll be back in an hour to see how it did All right, it's been an hour. The tent looks pretty saturated, to be honest. And you can tell the difference in color now. It feels wet, actually, on the outside. We'll see. Halfway through at the 30 minute mark, I moved the cover onto the, onto the stove pipe. It, it is actually cold to the touch because of the water hitting it. And it was getting a lot of water down in there. So I wanted to stop that. So let's go inside, see how it did. And this, this just feels soaking wet. I did stop a lot of the water coming in, but not all of it, but most of it. The seams look pretty good, guys. At the 30 minute mark, I came in here to check on it. And I thought I felt misting coming through the door or through the walls, misting onto me. But I think it was splashing from this, splashing onto me. Because I do not feel it right now. And nothing's changed other than it getting more wet. So, if it was misting on me before because of the walls um, leaking, I, I definitely feel like it would still be doing that now after it got more wet. So I think the, the cover helped with that aspect of it. I'm actually surprised. The walls are definitely wet. Not that wet, and I'm actually, I'm getting dripped on my back, so let's find that drip. Oh, there it is. It's actually soaking through. Soaking through there. So I don't know how big of a deal that is. I am very surprised. It's been, it's been raining like this, rain, raining, for the last hour. I am very surprised. And I think, I think if the cover was on correctly, like without the stove hooked up, it would actually be completely dry in here. Besides that door dripping, but that could have been my fault too, because the the cord was coming through here. Like right now, it's not dripping no more. I gotta say, I'm pleasantly surprised, guys. Very surprised how well this is doing in that in this moisture. Final thoughts on the cheapest one-person hot tent on Amazon. Totally worth the money if you ask me. For eighty-four dollars, you get a functioning hot tent that's lightweight with a pole and a decent quality stove jack i'm i'm very surprised guys this is actually nice wasn't expecting it to be this nice there was those couple fray points up at the top other than that the rest of the stitching looks looks good all the seams are seam taped except for the door zipper the door zipper is not seam taped 
All right, so for the fire hiking one person hot tent from Amazon for $84, the cheapest hot tent on Amazon, I give it a thumbs up. Not, not bad, not bad for the price, guys. If you're thinking about getting into hot tenting and you're on the fence and you don't want to spend a lot of money on a hot tent, I think this is a viable option to see if you're interested in hot tenting. If you like this sort of thing, think about giving this video a thumbs up. Think about hitting that subscribe button. I'll leave a link to it right here in the middle. Over here on this side is a link to my hot tent DIY stove jack sleeve. And over on this side is a playlist of my winter camping adventures. Thanks a lot for joining me on this one, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Winter's coming. Yeah.